<laughs> Welcome back my friends to the RC Spark Studio Ranch and my friends are just starting to arrive. We have a, a special day here. I'm in a bit of a shadow because we're in a tree uh, area of my property here at the ranch and we're trying to actually put together a scale trail area. Nothing too fancy. Everybody's always doing their backyard uh, uh, scale trail areas and I figure pff, it's about time I did as well. Uh, so over the last two years I've been collecting some of the uh, scraps and you know logs and rocks and things we've had around here. Old kind of tires and stuff like that just to kind of give you guys a little bit of an idea of what you can do. You don't need to spend a lot of money you just need to have some odds and sods and scraps and stuff you want to crawl your RC over. So I got Chris in the back, Chris Rappel and my friend Penguin here, Kyle of course and a few more on the way and we're just going to start building and see what we, we get. I'll show you some of the things that we have so it can give you guys some ideas. Okay so here's the idea. We've got some heavy duty pallets on the bottom and we're adding this for some topography basically to start lifting the track off of the Alberta prairies. Now with that, Chris has gone ahead and put a piece of plywood on top. This is so a lot of the dirt doesn't fall through the cracks. Plus we're going to use some old garbage plastic that I've had laying around here to kind of cover it up and to keep it a little bit more weatherproof. Good idea on the multi racks guys. Multi uh, pallets on the slant. Got bricks and blocks and old pieces of wood and footing stones. And I even found a way to incorporate some of my old tires. Now, this is all in raw form right now. Of course, nothing's covered, but this is gonna be an obstacle to get up the hill is the plan up to the top with multiple exit points. So even though it's in the raw form right now, you can see dirt and all the logs. Here's some more wood, old logs. And the birds screaming in the background. Oh, so shadowy today. That's all right though. Keep up our work and I'll keep you guys updated as we go. Aaron has come to help us out. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> so now we've got the plastic over. So pallet and then a pallet more at a steeper angle and they've been screwed together. So we've also been putting these boards on here to keep some of the soil from running down when it starts to get wet. And so up on top, they're starting to build the side shore up walls, right? And then on the other side are those tires for now. So I'm gonna go over here, grab some dirt behind Aaron with the old skid steer here and start dumping on here just to start getting an idea of the weight. Now underneath there, dun dun dun, maybe we'll have a pass through area. Side rails up here. To keep them yeah, we're here. yeah, we're gonna need. To... I think he nailed it. This is a great look at that. That's a great lion back mountain right there. Everybody knows the Moab one. <laughs> okay, so the wall has been shored up on this side. This is where the tires are, and the reason we're doing a wall like this is to help keep some of the soil in as I start to dump it in here, even though there's lino, or not lino, but the plastic will fill in the, the humps, and then we've exposed the edges. The reason I want exposed edges is so we're gonna have the traction for those tires to kind of bounce up. This is the way it's supposed to work. So we've left a lip right here, so it'll help keep some of the soil in place. We don't have clay out on agricultural farms like this. It is literally growing soil. So the rain, the, the mud, everything will be contended with, and so we wanna make sure it's, it's well done. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> that looks amazing. Threw it up or something. Yeah, threw it up. So more dirt right here. Yeah, just so we can kind of cover. Okay. 10-4. I'll do it right now. Well, yeah. well, well. Behind the camera? Per oh, usual. <laughs> so now we're trying to make it so when we're going up the dirt, there's round spots. So if it's wet, it's going to have a traction issue. Down here, we've got broken rocks. So it's causing lots of axle hang ups, right? Where you get your, your uh, yeah. differential hang up. Sides, and now they're securing logs uh, to the actual sidewall so they don't Sweet. slide down. It's like a dirt retainer, right? Or a, or a tank trap that goes up. I love dirt retainers. Good. Dirt retainer. Yeah. <laughs> Looking nice. Hello, Lyle. Nice to see you. Jim. How are you? I'm wonderful. There's Dave Cole. He comes in for the fifth scale race. What's up, Dave? Hello. Good to see you back, buddy. Hey, nice to be here. You, you're going to be here for the next little dirty that's coming up? Daughter. Yeah. It's a little dirty. <laughs> so we came in, uh, dumped the dirt, exposed the tire edges. I know it's kind of shadowy, but there you go. Gives you an idea. As you go up, the tire edges are out. On the other side, I finished with the stones. You can see what I was really after here was the axle hanging, right? I want to see that differential getting hung up as you traverse here. We do have the flow through, of course, with rocks underneath there. All right, so check it out. Lots have been going on on the sidelines. Aaron screwing in discs of wood. A uh, whole group of guys have been working on it. Lyle? Oh, you said dicks of wood. <laughs> sticks, sticks. <laughs> uh, Matt uh, in the background has been helping out here. They're actually uh, putting out more pallets to create a little bit more ups and downs. But check it out. Here's an inexpensive way for you guys to have an, your own backyard mod. Two two by fours and a log just sliced in into discs. <laughs> Is that better, Lyle? <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> that way you guys can get some articulation out of your trucks while going up a steep incline. Good job, Aaron. Thank you. Uh, here we go. Uh, just using some uh, bushes or shrubbery. These uh, branches we've been able to cut, they're kind of overgrown anyway. Just cutting them into slats. You'll see a big metal bar that I've had spare. I've got a few of those laying around. And so you get a little bit of bump, 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 bump as you go and leading back down. Now in the back, this is where we're building a mud pit. Uh, Penguin's idea. Uh, and Chris thinking about uh, putting in a mud pit back here. So I came in, did a bobcat shovel or a skid steer shovel wide. Uh, also added two more pallets under here, hard to see. But then I covered it with dirt. So we got quite a bit of this side ramp that hasn't been built. Well, it's been built, but we don't have any uh, topography or obstacles on it yet. Comes down, around, and we'll have it connect over here either by adding more sticks and rocks or just a, another pallet with some dirt and then we'll work it up as uh, time passes. But you can see with a little bit of effort, not very much money either, uh, just a very tolerant wife. <laughs> you too can have your own backward, backyard track. So uh, we're gonna keep at it. Chris, what are you working on? Teeter-totter. Teeter-totter. <laughs> Teeter-totters are fun to make, easy to use. Look at this. Chris put it together. Wow, dude. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Hey, your shirt's on backwards. Nice. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Huh? The digger? Where's your little digger? Everyone's been digging all day now. Lots of effort's been going in. Digger? It's become an RC family event. <laughs> As it always should be. That's the beauty of this hobby. Everybody can get involved. Yeah, come on, bud. 
teeter totters getting some dirt underneath. Kind of got the edges so when they go down, you can drive up easier, right? Look at this, another inexpensive uh, thing you can have in your yard. It doesn't need to be this big. You know, you can have a teeter-totter of any size. It's just a couple of two by fours, a couple of screws and a wooden base. And uh, we even had twisted wood. We don't even have a straight one. It kind of has an S curve to it, which is awesome because then you have to really judge your line as it goes up and over. And yes, we have already tested it. Okay, so everybody. I got all those pallets in here, started dumping some dirt. You can see it's starting to have some topography. Starting to test it with the trucks. Matt's truck running 2.2s there. Handled it nicely. Get your friends together. You got friends that are out doing scaling events. You don't have a good scaling area. Why not get into your backyard? Going up the bridge. Yeah, well, yeah, you gotta ask your parents first. <laughs> There's my lovely, understanding wife. <laughs> build it. Just build it. Here's. That's right. Oh. <laughs> Look at on the teeter totter. This is. Uh, there, yeah, that's oh, true. Yeah. yeah, Chris did it pretty cool. Oh, and he bombs it at the end, but he recovers. Then it goes back. Maybe we can work on a weight system or something like that. Sean rolling in the his defender. You said tavern, I'm going to most. <laughs> nice. Yeah. 1.9s. Wraiths are gonna have a hard time on here. Oh! Oh! The Galenda hard body got lots of weight on top. Look at the angle of this. It's quite steep, right? But depending on you know if that pallet, if we wanted to make it less steep, we could just build up the pallet and it would be less of an incline, right? Pretty amazing. Whoa, very nice, very doable. So, some broken patio stones mixed in with dirt. Make sure all the sharp edges are sticking out. Look at he's that's exactly what's going on. As his back tires are finding those holes and digging them out. I wonder if one nines can actually do this hill, but that's exactly why we've done this. As it rains and as the soil starts to work down and as the lines get found, there will be days of victory. <laughs> Not today though. Oh yes, today. You can do this, bro. It's just a matter of finding the right line. Look at that. Oh, oh he's twisting. He's got it. He's got it. We may see a rollover here. No. Just skirting across. Very nice. See, look at the challenge, and now he celebrates his victory. Good job, bud. You can do it. Matt on the bottom. So multiple people can run on a course like this. This is actually a drawbridge. It has hinges on the top behind that tree attached to the wall. And uh, we're gonna put in a pulley system, so it'll actually lift the drawbridge, but not today. Around the outside. It's hard, this soil is definitely slippery and dirty, but you can see with a nice bouncy suspension you actually get quite a bit of traction. She spent most of the afternoon in the house. Nice, good crawl. Right up to the top and down the other side. Okay, so this ramp is actually with the tires is turning out to be quite a challenge. So we're starting to add some things in here to be uh, helpful with traction, just because the soil is so loose still. Here comes Lyle. Nice, good to see him back out in action. Change trucks. Very cool.
Nice, we could almost add two discs in there to really test that suspension flex. Up comes the Army Jeep. Up comes Kyle's Rock Crawler. Causing problems. Nice, getting hung up. Uh oh. Aaron's in trouble. Uh oh. There's no recovering that. Lyle puttering along. Showing his flex. That looks like a sawback uh, chassis. It is. Yeah. Nice. Fits the helix body decently. Very cool. Up and over. I'm going to get out of his way. Really pleased with how today turned out. Here is probably the hardest part of the course, back to the tires again. And it's for that reason right there. When he goes to drive forward, it just simply digs into the dirt. So more obstacles will be necessary to help the hook up. And when it rains and packs it down, it'll help. He's making it though, he's almost there. Check it out, he's gone, well, at least halfway. They may need a few extra rocks in there, Lyle. Maybe. Yeah, like as soon as you get your top tires up on that rock, it's gonna, their back tires will go in the hole. Yeah, you're in the hole now. The winch line. Yeah, it could be, hey, yeah, we should have a, a, a like a permanent winch point up there. That's a good idea. You need the old handle aisle here. Yeah, handle aisle. This is why you test it out. You gotta find out what works and what doesn't. Aaron running into the same issue Lyle was. Same thing I was when I was driving Sean's ring, rig. Yeah, oh yeah, exactly. It's just a little too loose yet. Yeah, it's still too loose. Oh, oh, dead battery. oh and Penguin making a move just to find he's got a dead bat. Very nice. Into the drop. So there you have it, my friends. You too can have your own backyard scale course. We were able to get quite a bit done today because we had RC family and friends surrounding us, giving us a hand, and we had some supplies that's been getting saved for a little while. But with low cost, a little bit of elbow work, everybody can get involved in the RC hobby and you guys can build your own courses at home. Anyway, we look forward to seeing your comments in the video comment section below. I'll leave links to my friends' YouTube channels that were here today in the video description box. And until next time, my friends, I hope you are inspired to get outside and enjoy the RC hobby. Catch you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Guys, thanks for your help. Woo! Yeah, we did it. Onwards and upwards. <laughs>